Hey guys, it's Lindsay here. I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to copy and paste an image from Google Earth Pro into your base map design. So I'm just going to pull up the address here and it's going to zoom in to where we are going. And right away it's going to put this bubble on there right in the middle of the design and I'm not going to want to see that on my base map. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to delete that search bar and that's going to get rid of that. I use U on my keyboard to get right above because sometimes as I scroll in and maybe there's a way to change that where it doesn't scroll in that way <laughs> and you can just look straight up and down onto your image. So as soon as I got rid of that search bar, that is gone. I have a few different options here. I can press print screen on my keyboard. And that's going to bring up a menu. I don't think it shows up in my video, but it's right at the top of the screen. And your cursor will turn into a cross. And you can just click and drag over your image. And it will cut an image. And it'll seem to have disappeared, but it is on your clipboard. So you go over to your Illustrator file or your Affinity, and Control v is going to paste that image on there for you. So that's one way. You could go into the menu bars as well and say copy image, but if you do that, it's also going to copy the logo of the Google Earth and anything else that's on this page. If you have any of those sidebars on there, if you have any scales like this on there. So you're going to want to go into your view menu and make sure that nothing is checked off there. Another keyboard shortcut for PC is Windows Shift S. And again, that's going to bring up the same menu from the print screen where you have the option of just clicking and dragging over your image to create an image whatever size you like. And then going over to Illustrator, copy paste there, control V. On a Mac, if you press Shift Command 3, it's going to give you the entire image. So Google Earth is going to be on there and everything that's in that space will be on the image. Shift Command 4 will give you those same keyboard tools to drag and copy a certain portion of that image. And then you just drop it into your Illustrator file. I generally put it uh, set with an opacity layer so that it fills the entire image so that your design isn't floating in space. It gives a nice background in the base map design, but if you have a nice opacity on it, then you can actually see your design a lot better. So just play with the opacity. It kind of depends on how busy the image is itself. Yeah, and I think that's about it. Oh, I got one more clue here. This little icon, there's an icon in your toolbar on Google Earth Pro at the top where it looks like an Earth. And if you click on that, it's going to open up Google Earth, but it's going to open up the Maps version. And that's really helpful in terms of doing your research for your base map design and helping you get situated. So where is my house, you know, against the next city or whatnot? So where am I in relationship to the larger city centers? Because a lot of the websites that we use for our research don't have those smaller subdivisions and whatnot in there. So we can search what's the closest town and use that for our wind roses for example and then i just have yeah two different ways to kind of look at the map google earth and google earth maps here hope that helps let me know if you have any questions